Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. So, to set up MariaDB server on Ubuntu 20.04 hosted on GCP, simply click on the link in the description box which would simply bring you to this listing on the Google Marketplace. Now from here simply click on launch. Here you can customize your virtual machine. I'm going to leave the deployment name as default and then I'm going to simply change the zone to Europe and then for the sake of this tutorial, I am going to leave the disk space as default which is 10GB but if you have requirements more than 10GB then make sure to allocate enough space for your requirement. And when you are satisfied with your settings, simply click on accept the agreements and click on deploy. Now you have to wait for the MariaDB Ubuntu to be deployed on GCP. While it is being deployed, you can also check the link in the description box which would take you to this particular blog post which is a step-by-step -step guide on how to set up MariaDB Ubuntu on cloud such as Azure, AWS and GCP. Now from here you can see that we don't only have the MariaDB server on Ubuntu 20.04, we even have the MariaDB on Ubuntu 18.04 LTS. So make sure to check out this particular blog post in the description box. So coming back to our Google Cloud, our deployment is complete. So we can connect to our virtual machine using the SSH terminal by simply clicking on this button. Now as you can see our SSH terminal opens up in a new window. Now as you can see I am logged into my Ubuntu which contains the MariaDB server. But let's configure our MariaDB. So let's start off with the command sudo mysql underscore secure underscore installation and then hit enter. Now it is going to ask you for the password for root. Currently the password for root is blank so simply hit enter. You can even opt out for Unix socket authentication but I am not going to do that for this tutorial. And then it asks us if I want to change my root password so I'm going to type in Y and hit enter and then I'm going to type in the new password and I'm going to re-enter the new password to confirm it. Then it is asking me if I want to remove anonymous users so I'm going to go with yes. Basically you want to configure this MariaDB according to your needs. So I'm going to go ahead with the configuration according to my needs. So simply go along with the configuration and then you're done. And that was it for all the tutorial. But let's test out some commands on MariaDB. So head over to the blog post. I'm going to copy this command which is going to log me into my SQL client shell. So simply copy and paste that command into the SSH terminal and hit enter. And then as you can see I'm now logged into my MariaDB shell. I can come back to this post, copy the command to create a database and type that in and hit enter. Now to display that database, I'm going to use the command which is to show databases. So basically, you have set up your MariaDB running on Ubuntu 20.04 on Google Cloud. And we have even accessed the MariaDB shell. If you want to test out more of the MariaDB commands, you can follow the blog post which contains the command to create a new user and granting privileges to MariaDB users. Anyways, that was it for this tutorial. Make sure to check the links in the description box.